The hand release push-up is the third event in the Army Combat Fitness Test. It develops endurance in the muscles of the shoulders, arms, and trunk. The number of successfully completed repetitions is counted over a two-minute period. Here is a breakdown of the event as it would be conducted during a test. The starting position for the hand release push-up is the prone position with hands flat on the ground beneath the shoulders. Feet will be together or up to boot width apart. Head may be on or off the ground with eyes facing downward. Arms may be away from the trunk. On the command go, the first movement is the push-up from the ground into the front leaning rest. This movement ends when both elbows are fully extended. The hips and trunk must leave the ground at the same time and move as a unit. The legs, hips, trunk, and head must remain in a straight line throughout the exercise. The second movement is to flex the elbows and return to the starting position. The third movement is the hand release. Without moving the head, body, or legs, the soldier will fully extend their arms to the side. Hands may be on or off the ground. The fourth movement is a return to the starting position with hands under the shoulder. This completes one repetition of the hand release push-up. Here's the exercise in real time.